Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Studs and players. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. Uh, back in the day when I was formulating uh, nice guys and players. You know, going through the initial notes, thinking about what I'm going to put in. A working title was Studs, Players, and Nice Guys, right? And the reason why, because one, well, I kind of differentiated between um, a stud and a player. See, some studs or some studs can be players but not all players are studs so when we think about stud let, let's get past like the uh, lesbian or aggressive lesbian butch lesbian appropriation of the term right which is a shame but that stud is just that's just that mandingo dude, that big muscular dude, uh, that prison body dude, that dude that got that body that just drives a woman crazy. He got the right body build, right height, all that stuff. He, he's basically getting a woman off that pure physical thing, which drives women crazy. You know, I never, never forget what a former Mr. Universe told me back in the day. He said, shoot, the reason why all those women be lined up at the prison is because those guys been hitting the weights. And that's why in my book I say, you know, hit the weights. But, of course, you know, everybody ain't going to build up like that without the use of uh, some uh, somewhat illegal pharmaceuticals. But you got some guys who are there. You know, a few of them, a few of them might even become genius bruisers. You know, just I mean, it is what it is. Right, but I differentiated a stud from a player because you know somebody got the good genetics and stuff. They you know they're gonna get in there. Women gonna throw it at them. I mean, let's just be real. I mean, all you had to do is all you had to do is look up any video of any male exotic dancers, and you'll see that. And it shouldn't even be an argument. Now I know some people they you know they'll use the term or you know they'll say hunks or you know alphas or whatever. You know, physical alphas, right? But all of them are basically getting bound just fortunate genetics. They won the real genetic lottery. In fact, even in nice guys and players, I say the face really wasn't that important. And sometimes even when I'm discussing looks, I'm discussing the overall appearance. But that body's important. But with the percentage of men who are built like that is actually very small. He is actually very small. Yet you still have some guys who don't, who aren't muscular like that, who you know don't got that buff body, who still making out like bandits. That's why I, you know I use the term stud, original term studs, players, and nice guys, and it eventually became nice guys and players. Right? Reason why? Because I had to recognize that there's some cats out there, even though they don't have the raw genetics, they still manage to get theirs in. You know, they develop some level of game, even if they might not recognize it. Because they, the game could be on different levels. And let me know, uh, I want to get some feedback from y'all. Because I'm thinking about doing a pay video on the different types of game. And just, you know, even for the people who don't like that term, it's just, it's a strategy. Let's just be real. All game is is a strategy to get some women. That's it. Now, if you don't want to use the word game... Or tactics, you can still say strategy. I mean, to me, it's no different from a strategy to get that job you want, to pay for that car, to pay, uh, to find a way to send your child to college. Any strategy in life, so that's game, all right? It's just slang. Don't get too caught up. It's not like you gaming the person in most cases. Hey, in some cases, it might be a case you got to game the woman or use some trickery or something like that. But if it's trickery, it's trickery. Some people's game is to be totally honest and just walk up and say, Hey, girl, I like you and I want you. <laughs> Y'all know who did that, though. <laughs> anyway, right? 
No, it is a. Uh, the interesting thing is, I eventually got out of the stud thing. I mean, I talked about it a little, and I would say that most Mr. Good Bars probably come in that stud category. Notice I said most. They're, I would say a majority, but that majority, probably 70 30 or something like that. There's some guys who just in there just based off charisma, which is. Uh, a type of game just being a cool person that's a type of game you know shoot just being like a woman's like therapist they listen to women's problems and all of a sudden you know the gates to her uh, lovely treasure become open you know and you know i kind of got out of it i said no nah, you know what i don't want it to be like put take the stud out and stuff and plus one of the things i wanted to do too was getting men to the point where they could approve no matter where they are you know instead of having them trying to like compete with like that you know less than five percent get them to the level of the guys who somehow got past that and those are the players because one thing about the studs and this one thing i picked up on a lot of times if they run into that woman who ain't like feeling them physically they don't know what to do most of them some of them develop some level of game, but some of them do. But many of them, I mean, if you got women throwing it at you without you doing much of a work just because, you know, you got some big buff body, shoot, you ain't going to develop too much game. Like, I knew this guy in D.C. If I had a picture of him, I'd put it up. I guarantee anybody who lived in D.C. the last, um, I'll say within the last 20 years, probably seen this dude around. I mean, he didn't impress me as being smart. It was like, I don't know. He's one of the few human beings. I don't like calling human beings dumb, but he's one of the few human beings I would call dumb. But he was a tall, muscular motherfucker, like almost like a caricature and shit. Looked like something out of Marvel Comics and whatnot with his body bill. And I remember having a conversation with him, such as his conversation skills were, and he was telling me about... uh. How all these women were just throwing him some pussy. That was a stud. Now, the player dude, that the player dude might not have the same body build, but the player dude got, you know, good conversation for him or, you know, good dance moves, something like that. He developed himself. So, you know, I said, you know what? When I was doing I said, you know what? I don't want to focus too much on that. I want to focus on how to get guys to that player level. So, you know, I said, nice guys and players. Now, I don't know why I just thought about the uh, stud thing, because it, it's almost, I'm going to be honest, the way I've been looking at it recently, because one thing I've always said, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I haven't stopped learning, and I'm that type, I'll keep thinking about something. I'm almost ready to put studs or hunks or whatever in their own separate category. Seriously, it's almost, you know. Just call them genetic anomalies and move on. You know what I'm saying? Just put them in their own category and say, hey, you know what? You too can get to the level of the player, though. Because the player is the one who had to develop himself. The player is, a, is the one who, you know, had to figure out what to dress, you know, how to dress. You know, had to, like, go out there and make those mistakes talking to women. All of that mess. Now, this ain't no shade against the stud. Nah, this, this ain't no shade. Let me just get that clear. You know. Because, shit. For, for a period, that was my game. <laughs> I mean, just to be honest. Um, still is to some extent. But, you know, I want to really want to, like, let guys know. It's like, hey, you know what? You can be up there. And you don't have to chase a bunch of women and stuff. But it gives you some skills to actually get that one. Which, I, you know, ultimately... Talking with many men, and I actually did a video on this. Most men, regardless of race, just want that one woman who's going to feel them. You know? Just want that one woman who's going to just say, hey, you know what? You, you, you all right. You all right. Then again, there's some of y'all who y'all shoot. Y'all, that few of y'all. Shit, y'all, y'all trying to run up everything and stuff. I got to keep my family away from y'all. Actually, I might have to keep y'all away from my family. The women in my family kind of treacherous, y'all. <laughs> Just being real. <laughs> I love them, but, you know, sometimes there's a few. I can't let them know where I live. 
I was like, damn, bro, I'm going hard on this family. You know, I'm just trying to protect y'all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I'm about to start another video. Anyway, right? Let me get back on track. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I just, it's funny. It's funny how I thought about that. You know, you, uh, you know, you look back as a writer. You know, you look back at some of the notes you had because, and this is just for the writers out there. You know, maybe I'll start a channel or just dedicate to writing or something. I don't know. Y'all let me know on that too. You know, y'all let me know on that. I might have about 15 channels just talking about different things. But, um, you know, as a writer, you, the process of coming to the final product is interesting. It really is. Like, you look back and see, I'm, I'm, I'm a person. I've kept most of the notes of everything I've written. And, you know, you look back at, like, the whole process of Nice Guys and Players, just the notes for it. I was like, wow. <laughs> and y'all should see some of the stuff I didn't put in the book. Because <laughs> I said it was either too deep or it was just like, nah, they won't even believe that. But... Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling, y'all, you know, just kind of rambling, just thinking about things. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm that type. I just look at stuff, and I'll just be like, mm, I don't know. I got a, re a part of me is a researcher and analyst and stuff. I just look at something, pick it apart and stuff. I'm that type of person to take a car apart piece by piece and then try to figure out how to get it back together and stuff, see how it runs. Used to break a lot of things when I break a lot of toys when I was little doing that. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, y'all, that's it for today. You know, so you know, in closing, y'all develop those player skills, man. Even if it's just to get that one special woman. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.